Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Adam B, and it gives me a great pleasure to teach you some very fundamental aspects of programming, and especially in Python. So, let's get right to it. So, what is programming exactly? Well, this course is intended to be an intro course for many students who have uh, limited or prior knowledge to programming. So let's say if you are somebody who has no idea what programming is, or has taken some very basic form of programming such as HTML, well, I'd say this course is perfect for you because it starts out with some of the simplest forms of uh, coding to do in Python, and then it basically prepares you for more advanced concepts in computer science and programming. So, programming basically is a mathematical concept. There is a misconception by many people that programming can be, oh, programming is so difficult, it's so challenging. Well, yes, it can be at times, but it's actually um, a very fun way of learning some, you can say, theoretical and complex ways to make it simple. So programming is basically math and code, but it just kind of simplifies things to a very basic level where everybody can understand. You'll, you'll get what I mean later on, but this is just like maybe the most general way I could define programming for you. And it is, it's not specific to one language, but there are multiple languages in programming. So I'm sure you've basically heard of Python, of Java, of C++, so on, so on. There are a lot there. Um, it's like, for example, you know English, but there is American English and British English. So there's the slight difference between one language to the other. So at, once you start learning programming, it can actually op open many opportunities in the marketplace. So Many of you may think that it is a challenging thing to learn. Actually, no, it is something very fun and logical. So you don't need to be a super smart person, even though I'm sure you guys are all are, uh, very smart. But it's, it's something that requires just a lot of um, logical thinking. And, and I'm sure you're aware of this, that the future of the marketplace is basically uh, computing, especially in artificial intelligence and many doctors even. For example, those of you who want, who have interests in medicine, many doctors start using uh, coding and, and programming because they want to control some bio, biomechanical machines to perform surgeries. Or let's say if you were an accountant working in the stock market, you'd obviously need uh, coding because you want to update the system for uh, company stocks. So there, there are a lot, a lot of opportunities. It's endless. Just search online, you can see the possibilities of programming. So, I'm sure you're wondering how much do programmers make? Well, there's a difference between a computer scientist and a programmer. A programmer basically codes, a computer scientist codes but with mathematical concepts. So, if you're somebody who wants to uh, become a computer scientist, uh, let's say they make an average of between 50.8k and 131k. I'm talking about US dollars because this is basically um, statistical reports based in the United States. Uh, this is actually quite a lot because you get to make more than other fields. For example, mechanical engineering or aerospace engineering, civil engineers, they make probably somewhere between uh, 60 and lower. But programmers usually make, on an average, I'd say somewhere close to 100k per year. So they pay well. Companies appreciate the work of programmers. An average programmer in the United States, well, makes between 39.8 thousand and 98.4. That's also very good because a programmer, I wouldn't say it's less that it's a position less than the computer scientist, but a computer scientist does. Uh, more challenging concepts in in the um, technology technological job field. So this is this is just a very rough estimate, but basically you you guys coming here to learn coding, especially through Python, this is going to be phenomenal because it's going to open a lot of opportunities for you. So what are some popular programming languages? There's Python. Python is a very simple language because 
you don't have those um, squiggly braces if you've heard about them in Java. <laughs> um, yeah, so Python automatically does it for you. It's it's very high level. By high level, I mean that it's something easy for people to understand. Um, there's Java. Java is a good step as well. If you've taken Java before, then Python should be easier for you. JavaScript is also another language that's kind of a simpler version to Java. There's C++ and C and C Sharp. These are all like advanced languages. Something that you can say very popular, very old in the uh, programming uh, industry. And there are lots more. There are lots more. There are uh, languages to control machines. There are languages for electrical circuits. The list is endless. You can, can go continuous. But I'm talking about the most uh, popular uh, programming languages that are out there today. So I hope I can. I gave you a uh, a very general and detailed start, and at least an understanding of what is programming exactly. So in, a, in my next video in this course, we are going to start digging into Python. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching.